Welcome back to another episode of The Wind Down. Today we will be unpacking low-key losing it with the delightful Natasha Rothwell, who plays one of Issa's BFFs, Kelly. Hey, Natasha. Hey, girl. What up? You know I'm here drinking rosé talking about the show. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a lot of insight into the new friendship now that Tiffany's child is born. And we talked about in the room how important it was for us to highlight the issues of childbirth, especially amongst black women. Yeah. One of the things we talked about even outside of childbirth as well is just like women's issues in hospitals being yeah. taken seriously. Yeah. How we have to get second and third opinions to be taken seriously. And yeah, so about how they don't believe our, our pain. actual pain. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought it was like really cool using Tiffany's storyline this episode to sort of speak to that. With Tiffany, it allows, because she's married, because she has a child now, it allows us to talk about issues that the other three women sort of can't talk yeah. about, you know? And it is just a common issue. Yeah. It's yeah. not, you know, you think about it happening only to people that you don't know that seem far away, but right. this is not, these aren't isolated incidents, so it's just important for awareness. So usually our show is pretty adult. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But what was it like to work with an actual baby? in this episode? It was wild. I wanted to make sure the baby was okay first because there was a lot happening that day. Like the space we shot was very small. We were pressed for time. Yeah. Also the mom in, or the parents are right there watching your yeah. Yeah. So The parents are right that. there. And then there's also like, the parents have like baby handlers. So they're like four people looking out for the baby and no one looking out for no, just, <laughs> no one looking what out for me. What about me? <laughs> but this was just mm -hmm. like, it was really sweet to sort of have that energy and see how it affected the other cast members. There's something very real that I think this episode does. It's we see how motherhood is affecting Tiffany, but also when your friend has a child, yeah. it changes your relationship to that friend. Mm -hmm. So I remember last season, obviously, when we've been building up to this distance between Tiffany and Kelly. How far do you think Kelly and Tiffany have come since the baby shower? Um, I think they've reconciled. I don't think there's any animosity, but I do think that Kelly might feel like she has something to prove mm -hmm. as far as, you know, like she can be there for Tiffany. And so in a world where Tiffany sort of preferred her other friends to throw the baby shower, I feel like Kelly's trying to prove her worth and doesn't want to lose her friend yeah. to motherhood, which means that they're still in the circle, but they won't be going out late or right. like, you know, we have to have, we have to see a matinee instead of an evening movie, right. that kind of thing. And so I think Kelly doesn't want that to change. Mm -hmm. uh, the episode ends on a kind of a big divide, right? Between Issa asking for a favor and Molly basically saying like, no. Does Issa feel betrayed that her, you know, quote unquote best friend doesn't come through for her in her time of need? Of course, I think hurt, betrayed, confused, you know, Molly holds her down. And I think to the extent of Issa maybe taking that for granted, yeah. you know, she, she knows that Molly's busy. She knows that Molly wants this relationship yeah. to work, but I think Issa just has tunnel vision specifically when it comes to this block party. It has to succeed. Yeah. And so in Molly denying her help, it's like she's essentially rooting for Issa to fail, at least in Issa's mind yeah. of just, I'm not going to sacrifice this relationship that I've been trying to maintain yeah. to help you with this little thing that might not work in the first place because you have a history of <laughs> not <laughs> having things work. Right. So, and I think that's just, for Issa, that's a hard pill to yeah. swallow. Yeah. You know, given Molly's choices in this episode, what do you guys do when your best friend chooses their significant other over your relationship? Oof. This is gonna sound like hyperbole, but you do have to grieve the friendship that you had. Because if you kind of hold on to that, you're constantly holding that yeah. idea of friendship as like a ruler yeah. to every interaction you have, and they will always fall short because right. they have fundamentally changed. And so I'm consistent, like I haven't changed. I'm still single, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Wind Down. Stay tuned for a new episode next week. Yeah, cheers. Cheers.